It's the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Browns and the Silver and Black. Next on Madden NFL 25. Now from the home of the Raiders since 2020. We're inside the spectacular Allegiant Stadium here in Las Vegas. Good to be with you, Mike Tirico, Greg Olson here in the booth. Greg, we got a couple of teams who love to throw the football. You know the guys say, hey, we're not going against the other offense. We're going against the other team's defense. Greg, these star wide receivers, you know they're watching what the other guy does on the field here today. Oh, in their minds, there's no question. They are competing against one another. And I think that's what makes this league so fun is when these guys, they know each other, they study each other, they work together in the off seasons. A lot of times they're friends, but come game day, there is no question. At the end of this one, yes, they want their teams to win, but when they put their two box scores up next to each other, there's going to be some bragging rights come this offseason. The kicker, Daniel Carlson, has this one teed up. And off we go from Vegas. To return is Naheem Han. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The Browns led out by their quarterback, Deshaun Watson. The stardom early in Houston. Now his third season with the Browns, eighth season in the league as Watson tries to get this Browns team going in this one. I don't know about you, Mike, but my biggest takeaway from our meeting with him was just how important it is that they get off to a fast start. He made it very clear. They wanted to put their opponent on their heels right from the jump. So I think early in this game, they're going to come out swinging right from the opening whistle. Now Watson keeping this on his own lead. And he's going to be dropped behind the line. Terrific push defensively. They came out of the locker room ready to go. The decision whether to keep the ball or to hand it to the back happened so fast. And this kid thinks it was a keep read. The defense was there ready to stop him. Tackle for loss. On second down, here's in trouble, and he's going to be taken down. This has been a tough sequence right out of the jump. You work all week on your opening script, and they're usually the plays that you feel the best about to try to establish some sort of early rhythm, but through two plays, run and pass, all they've done is go backwards. Third and long. Here's Watson. And that is incomplete. Remember what they told us, Mike, leading up to this game. They said it is so critical for us to find success, especially on third down. We want to maintain possession, extend these drives. Well, the first crack comes up, and they fail through the air, and we have to want to have better success throughout the remainder of this game. A fair catch here. Called for and made beyond the 30-yard line. The Raiders offense set to take over for the first time. They'll be let out by their quarterback, drafted back in 2019 out of Washington State. It's Gardner Minshew. He spent a lot of time, Mike, over these last couple days speaking to the media. And the thing that jumped out to me was just how confident he was in his team's preparation ahead of today's game. Now, only time will tell or not whether it makes a difference, but if his confidence is any indication of how they're going to perform, this could be a tough team to beat. Man in motion here is Tucker. Minshew going to open up with a throw. Back to the first tight end taken back in April. It's Brock Bowers. And they bring him down, but not until he crosses midfield. 19 yards right away to kick off this drive. They'll come up here first and 10. First carry of the game for Alexander Madison. And he'll get about five.
Again, it's Madison. And he's close to the first down. Gets four yards on the game, but it will bring up third down. They'll look to pick this up third and a yard. He'll try and throw with Minshew. To the left side, and Adams has it. Minshew now to throw on first and ten. Quarterback does a nice job here sensing the pressure pretty quickly. Realizes he doesn't have a beat from within the pocket. Decides to tuck the ball and rely on his legs. He's able to pick up a positive play. Off the play fake. It's Minshew. In motion is Myers. From the gun, here's Minshew. Gonna get that complete. Jacoby Myers. They get 19 on that pass play. First down, Vegas. For any long developing play like that to work, everyone on the offensive side of the ball has to do their job at a high level. First, the pass protection has to hold up. Then, the receiver has to be able to separate from his man defender. And then, of course, the quarterback has to be on time and on target with the ball. And when you do, you move the chains. On first down, a run with Madison. He'll work his way ahead for a gain of about four. They'll stick with Madison. And he's going to go into the end zone, but he may have gotten a little help along the way. This one's coming back. They'll run up the middle, it's Madison. And he'll get a couple here, but it's gonna set up a third and long. Now after the run, we get a stoppage for an injured player. The training staff going to look, and we'll step out for a moment. and long. It's Minshew. Uh, nowhere to go. He's going to be taken down. If you want to win in this league and have a successful defense, how you perform on third down is critical. 
even more so. Your backs are up against the wall in the red zone looking for six. Those third down sacks go a long way to keeping touchdowns off the board and making them settle for field goals. On fourth down, on comes Daniel Carlson for the Raiders' field goal. He'll bang that one through. It's good. And the Raiders will take a 3-0 lead. After the field goal to open up the scoring, the kicker's back out for this kickoff. Here's Hines now to return. They get across the 20, mark them at the 22-yard line. The Browns offense ready to see the football for the second time. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides. As this drive kicks off with first and 10. Gun snap to Watson. That's to the former Bronco. It's Jerry Judy. And he's taken down, but not until he gets to the 32-yard line. It's a gain of 10. That's enough for first down. Fake the handoff. Now Watson... This is brought in downfield by Judy. And another first down and another big gainer. This time, 23 yards. One of the things that makes him one of the best receivers in the NFL, Mike, is his ability to create separation downfield. He makes it so easy for his quarterback to not only find him, but to constantly create a nice throwing window like he did right there. Uh, first and ten. Here's Watson. He's got his man, the tight end, David Njoku. They'll come up here on second down and five. To the air again. Watson. He'll get that into the hands of Nick Chubb. And it'll be a short pickup that's not enough for the first down. Here's third down and a few inches. The joke to the tight end is the one in motion. Time to run out of time. They don't get the playoff on third and short. Watson now on third down. He's got the hook up there to Cooper. And they'll move this ball way down into the red zone, inside the 20-yard line. Cooper for the first time in this one. And he's got a first down to go with it. Watson. He finds Judy on that one. 
And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. Look him up on a second down and eight. On play action, it's Watson. And he's in! Amari Cooper! Touchdown, Cleveland! Dustin Hopkins now to add the extra point. He gets it to go. And the Browns move out to a 7-3 lead. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away here comes Amir Abdullah on the return past midfield they're going to be set up with a short field what a tremendous kick return and that right there is how you regain momentum you just gave up the lead but now here comes a huge boost by your special teams just an excellent return going to set them up with great starting position on this next drive. From the 35, it's first and 10. Here's Madison. And a pickup of three, or maybe four. That was Jordan Hicks who got him down. Out quickly, and it's Adams. Can he get away? No, he's taken down behind the line good job by the defense with a negative play man what a big time play here by the corner it feels like he knew that play was coming before the ball was even snapped you can see he sticks his foot in the ground and bursts he ends that play before it even has a chance to get started and that one just kept getting worse and worse until finally they bring him down if your quarterback is going to make a habit, Mike, of operating outside the numbers or the outer third of the field, you better neutralize the emo. So what emo stands for is the end man on the line. It could be a defensive end, a linebacker, or any walked-up perimeter player who is responsible for setting the edge. You have to get them accounted for, because if not, you better keep your quarterback in the pocket or else you're going to suffer a lot of sacks. On fourth down, last year's all-pro punter, A.J. Cole, on now for the Raiders. Naeem Hines, back deep for the Browns. And no return forthcoming. It's a touchback, and will come out to the 20-yard line. Now it's the Browns' turn as they get set to take over again on offense. The lead sits at four, so they'll try to add on to that. This drive begins with first and ten. the shotgun. Here's Watson. That's taken in by Chuck. He'll 
try again here. Second and ten. On the carry, this is Nick Chubb. And he'll get four here, up to the 24-yard line. Third and six. Watson to throw. Now sets up a screen for Chubb. They get 14 out of the screen, and it's a first down. All right, Mike, so the way they teach these screen plays to the offensive lineman is you got to stop the defender's feet. You just don't want him to get a free, clean rush to the quarterback because you're so worried about getting out in front of the back. Stop his feet, make him start his rush over again before you slip out. Ball gets dumped right over the rusher's head. Bang, now you're in the open field. Ball rests at the 37. It's first and 10. Out of the gun, Watson. That's caught downfield by Cooper. Well, so often we see quarterbacks standing in the pocket, holding it, seeing if they can create something downfield. Well, not that play. That play was simple. Snap the ball to the quarterback, spit it out into the hands of your receiver, and let's see what he can do. break the huddle coming up now for first and ten Watson and he can't hang on through the contact it's incomplete what a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving and it'll be second down seemed to me from up here Mike that he really locked in on that guy he told himself I'm gonna give my guy a chance to go compete for this ball and anytime he enters such a crowded area, it usually means if he works through his progression, there's an easier throw somewhere on the field. Instead, he tries to fit it in and just wasn't able to quite make the completion. So, they'll talk over what to do on this third down play as we have hit the end of the first quarter. 7-3 is our score. And we're back in Vegas after this. And that is incomplete. Great pass rushers live for third down, especially when they know the offense has to be one-dimensional. And this is a great example here, Mike. They can just pin their ears back and go. They know there is no threat for run. It is a must-pass situation. And for this offense, they're lucky it didn't result in a sack. Hopkins kick is good. And the Browns go out to a 10-3 lead. more as the kicks away on the return it is Trey Tucker and he'll be brought down past the 25 decent field position to start this drop the Vegas offense ready to get rolling again just the lone field goal for them so far down 10 to 3 in this one and they'll start first and 10 
They put Adams in motion. The drive starts with a run by Madison. And finally, they'll bring him down, but he's up beyond the 45-yard line. An even 20 yards impressive start to this drive. Well, that's how you get a drive started. A big play here in the run game. And you have to imagine, this is something we're going to continue to see. Success early in the drive typically results in success later in the drive. Set to go now on first and 10. In motion is Myers. Gets it away quickly, and it's caught. And he's not going to be able to get away very good coverage on the perimeter it goes down as a loss of yards the quick passing game in the nfl mike is so dependent on yards after the catch you got to generate space with the scheme and then it's up to the receiver to do the rest in this case nice job defensively because this guy couldn't even get back to the original line of scrimmage the attack is going to be made down at the 40 yard line they get 15 on that game Good for a Raider first down. to get two, maybe three on that carry. Denzel Ward in on the tackle. Second and seven. The shotgun, a throw from Inchu. Throw over the middle, brought in by Adam. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. That's his third catch of this first half and good enough for a first down. In motion is Myers. Throwing on first and ten, it's Minshew. Under pressure, and down he goes. They got him. If this was just one guy dominating them up front, there's a lot of things that you can do. You can chip him. You can double-team him. You can start sliding the offensive line and pass protection his way, trying to slow him down. But this has been coming from a lot of different spots, and right now it just looks to be a breakdown in the protection, and... They have no answer on how to stop it. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. Play action now with Minshew. Oh, no chance to get rid of that one. Under a heavy rush, he goes down. This is the epitome of team defense. Not only are you able to rush the passer and put relentless pressure on him play after play, but the coverage on the back end is so tight, there's just nowhere for the quarterback to go with the ball. You see him just continue to hold the ball that extra second in the pocket, and with the way these guys are pass rushing, that's all the time they need. What can they do here? This is third and forever. Working out of the gun, it's Minshew. That is intercepted. Picked off by Martin Emerson. So third and long, trying to pick up a first down and keep a drive going. Instead, the worst result. It goes back the other way, Greg. 
and the defense scores with a pick six. Mike, sometimes there's a fine line between being aggressive and being reckless. And I think you find yourself in third and long. You're trying to make a play, but sometimes you just press a little too far. And this time, it leads to the turnover and the pick six. Now, Hopkins on to add the extra point. It's up and good. And the Browns move out in front by the score of 17 to 3. The kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away on the return here comes Tucker he'll get this up to the 28 yard line nice place for the drive to start for Raiders offense and they're running back set to go once more they trail by two touchdowns so the time is now got to get that rally going it starts with first and ten From the gun, here's Minshew. A quick slant, and here's Adams. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. Straight ahead, here's Madison. He'll have enough to move the chains. He'll take this forward for about three yards. They'll come up first and ten at the 40. Minshew going to look to throw. That's a short one caught by Bowers. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. Here's a second and six. On second down, here comes Madison. And he'll take this up, working towards the first down mark. He gets five, but is just a little short of the first down. On third in the yard, it's Minshew. He's got a man. Down Las Vegas. Daniel Carlson on to attempt the extra point. The kick is good. And the Raiders are back within one score. It is an eight-point game.
Chris Carlson now. He'll kick this one off following the touchdown on the other end. This one will be taken in the end zone. No run back forthcoming. And the ball coming out to the 30-yard line. The Browns offense ready to take over once more. They lead by a touchdown as this drive begins with first and 10. Here's Watson. It's a short throw caught by Njoku. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. On second down, here's Watson. He'll go right back to Njoku. He's got it again. to throw is Watson. That's caught. It's the tight end, Najoku. That's catch three just on this drop. And it gets his team a first down. Brought down after a gain of a yard. Here's second and nine. Once again, it's a chop. Down the sideline, past the 40. And he's out of bounds, but not until he gets inside the 25-yard line. Watch the running back's patience here, Mike. He's slow, he's slow, and then he hits it. That's the key here. If he goes too fast, their linemen aren't ready yet. Really well executed. Great run. Watson now on first down. That is caught. What a throw. David Njoku. Touchdown, Browns. Hopkins now to tack on the extra point. He's got it. And the Browns move out to a 24 to 10 lead. Teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. On the return, here comes Tucker. And he is stopped at the 25. The drive will begin then. The Raiders offense and Jacoby Myers set for their next drive. They'll see if they can put something together here, beginning with first and ten.
They'll start on the ground, and here's Madison. And he'll plow forward for a gain of four yards. On play action, here's Minshew. He'll push this one downfield for Bowers. Just a little bit too much juice on that one, and you just can't throw the ball out of bounds. Give your receiver a chance to go up and compete for the ball, but when you miss that far wide, he's got no shot. To the air on third down, it's Minshew. That's into the hands of Tucker. He's got it. And the defense can't come up with a stop there. Gain a seven and a first down. They'll fake the give, and now it's Minshew. He's going to let one go, looking for Myers. That is not the way. Incomplete. Good coverage there defensively. All over him. And it'll be second down. Nothing scarier for a quarterback, Mike, than to seeing that ball popped up in the air. It feels like that ball is in the air for an eternity, and all you hope is that it just harmlessly falls to the ground. And fortunately for the offense, that's exactly what it did. This offensive line just has no answers right now. It's another sack. This has been a clinic tape as far as how do you rush the quarterback. From all three levels, their ability to get the quarterback on the ground is pretty remarkable, and it's still early here in the game, and if this offense doesn't get going here and protect the quarterback, we could be looking at a record-setting performance. Third and long. To throw Minshew. Here's a screen set up for Madison. And he's going to be taken down as we hit the two-minute warning here in this first half. They'll go with another punt that brings A.J. Cole back on the field as he's on to punt for the second time. On the return, it's Hines. Oh, how about that hit? Wow. He took a pretty good lick at the end of that one. The Browns offense and quarterback Deshaun Watson getting set for their next drive. The lead is a couple of touchdowns as this drive kicks off first and ten. Shotgun snap to Watson. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. From the shotgun, here's Watson. Nowhere to go. He is taken down. Now the Raiders going to use the first of their timeouts. We'll talk things over before third down.
That is a fitting end to this drive. Nothing works. He loses yardage on third down. And here comes fourth down. Here's Corey Bohorquez now, as he'll have to hit it from his own end zone. Oh, hello! He is stopped in his tracks on that one. They made sure that return was not going any farther. The Raiders' offense ready to see what they can do. They'll start with great field position, right at midfield with a first down. Now Minshew. That one caught by Tucker. And he will go all the way. Trey Tucker. Touchdown Vegas. They get the job done in the air. Greg, that is a play we see often. It's also a play we see work very often. Mike, that four vertical route, it puts a ton of pressure on the secondary. But in order to do that, you have to give your quarterback time for those receivers to get downfield. Give credit to the offensive line. That's exactly what they did. They're able to take advantage for the strike. Now Carlson to add the extra point. He's got it. And the Raiders back within seven. It's 24 to 17. Carlson now. He'll kick this one off following the touchdown on the other end. Here's Hines now to return. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The Browns offense headed back to take over once more. They'll try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and 10. the gun, Watson. This is intercepted. Picked off by Robert Spillane. So not a lot of yards on the return, Mike, but that's okay. The number one thing, end up with the ball in your hands. And in this case, a mission accomplished, and his guys are headed off the field to celebrate. Raiders offense getting those helmets back on, ready to head out for their next possession. They can get back into this quickly now. Very short field ahead. It is first and ten. Back is Minshew. He gets this one to Tucker. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second in inches. The shotgun, a throw for Minshew. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down.
He'll try and throw with Minshew. That ball is caught on the side right and both feet inbounds. A big third down pickup for a first down. 12 yards there and a first down. First and 10. In motion is Myers. Minshew going to look to throw again. And this is too far over the end line. It's incomplete. It's been a bit of a pedestrian game for this quarterback and ultimately this passing game here today, Mike. And I know they all would have loved to connect on that deep throw. I think that stat sheet would have looked a whole lot different, but just a little off in their execution and leads to an incompletion. Throwing again is Minshew. And he's going to go down yet again. He has been under fire all game long. If this quarterback's offensive line had as much fight as he does, I don't think they'd be in this situation to begin with. I mean, it's not even halftime here, Mike, and they've already given up six sacks. At this rate, I'm not sure they're confident their quarterback's going to make it out of this game in one piece. And with just four seconds left in the first half, a timeout is called. On now, Daniel Carlson to try the field goal. This from 34 yards. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Raiders will cut the lead down to four. second now of this first half as this one is played. And this one is fielded in the end zone. Will not be returned. So it will come out to the 30. First and ten. Here's Watson. Oh, and he's going to go down. He could not get rid of it. And that's going to bring an end to this first half. All right, Mike, thanks very much. And welcome, in everyone, to our halftime report. We saw a couple of high-octane offenses getting it done in the first half. Both teams had no problems moving the football. And you'd have to think, the team whose defense shows up in the second half is going to be the one who walks out of here with a victory. Coach, thank you. Not a rest at the break for the defensive coordinators trying to figure out how to stop these offenses as we get ready for the second half. Pretty interesting first half. We'll see if any strategy changes for the next 30 minutes or more as this second half gets underway. And he's down at the 23, and that's where the offense will take over. So now, out comes the offense, led by their quarterback as they take over once again. And he has been in control of this offense. Want to run you through some of the action from earlier on. He's got the two touchdown passes, over 200 passing yards. He has been excellent all game long.
operating from their own 23. They'll begin first and 10. Now give out of the gun. It's Madison. And he's going to be taken down on the other side of the 50-yard line. How about 28 yards on the first play of the drive? First down picked up. There's two elements to a successful run play, and the key is having them align. The offensive line needs to block according to the play and create space, but the back has to hit that space at the appropriate time. And this is a clear example as to why it leads to big gains. Here's first and ten. Working out of the gun, it's Minshew. That's caught left side by Bowers. And he'll get about eight on that one. Most of it coming after the catch. It's second down. From the gun, here's Minshew. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. <gasps> Minshew going to look to throw. He gets this complete finding Adam. once more. Here's Minshew. And good yardage there after the catch. They'll wind up with a gain of seven on first down. Here's second and three to go. Now someone up front moves early. They continue to make these mistakes if you're trying to mount a big comeback. Play action now with Minshew. To the left side. It is caught by Miles. And they're going to be set up now as he's brought down at the five-yard line. He's got a touchdown on the books from earlier, and that catch gets him a first down. Here's a run. And he will fight his way to the end zone. Alexander Madison. Touchdown Raiders. Carlson now for the extra point. It's up and through. And the Raiders go up by three. It's 27 to 24.
Here's Carlson now. He'll kick this one off following the touchdown on the other end. Here's Hines now to return. He's across the 20, taken down just shy of the 25. The visitors' offense ready for their first possession of this second half. They'll start it here with a first and 10. start on the ground with Chubb. And he's just pushing guys out of the way. Powering forward for a gain of eight. They come to the line now on second and two. Here's Chubb. He will keep the drive moving. Gets the first down. Nice gain of five. A run up the middle with Chubb. And he's going to be brought down up past the 45. It'll be a pickup of 10. First down, Cleveland. Well, there's not a whole lot of fancy going on here, Mike. This is just kind of old school, line up and run smash mouth football. It's exactly what they did, but it still ends up in a big game, and he picks up first down. On the handoff, this is Chubb. Trying to shove his way forward, but brought down after a gain of a yard. To throw on second down is Watson. That's over the middle to his tight end, Njoku. He'll get about six before he's taken down. They'll come up to third and three. To throw is Watson. That one on target to Moore. They get 10 yards on the hook up there. It's a Browns first down. yard long that's a gain of 11 and they'll move the chains with another first down more going in motion using the jet sweep for the fake they run it up the middle and a good run there gonna get him five yards Is Mike, you pretty much anticipate a pass, and I think that's what the defense was lined up thinking. In this case, they leave a little too much room on the ground, and the offense is able to pick up a first down. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Now Watson. He'll look underneath here for Chuck. 
After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. Well, this is a great example of the old saying, Mike. You never go broke taking a profit. And give credit to this quarterback. I know it's not the big explosive play he was looking for, but getting the ball into the hands of his running back allow him to pick up some extra yardage after the catch. Moore going in motion. They fake the jet sweep and give it up the middle. And he's going the wrong way. Dropped back at the seven. All week long, they stress, Mike, that we have to get as many defenders to this ball carrier as possible. They know he's going to make some guys miss. He's going to be hard to get on the ground. But you can see the effect of rallying to the ball as it had here. They're able to take him down, and they're able to do it for a loss. Third and two, and it's Watson. And he'll take it on in. Jerry Judy. Touchdown, Cleveland. Now Hopkins on to add the extra point. His kick is good. And the Browns have taken a four-point advantage. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away on the return here comes Tucker he'll get across the 20 mark him down at the 23 yard line They'll stick with Madison. And he'll take this one forward for about three. And that's a first down. Again, it's Madison. And he's going to be brought down up past the 45. It's a pickup of 13 yards. First down, Vegas. One of the key factors for having success in the run game, Mike, is winning at the point of attack. And what that means is every play, the linemen and all the blockers, they understand where the back is going to start and then where the back could end up. And having a good understanding of that and how it pertains to the defense is how you gain your advantage to have big plays like this. That ball broken up. It is incomplete. They tried the shot on first down, couldn't connect. It'll bring up second down. I'm not going to sit here, Mike, and throw the guy a parade for ultimately what was an incompletion, but can we just take a second to appreciate the arm strength he was able to show there. I mean, I think that ball is over 60 yards in the air, and I wouldn't be surprised if they continue to just air it out and see if they can complete one of those. We'll get this to about midfield. That's Greg Newsom in to make the stop.
to the air on third down. It's Minshew. Open man left side. He's got it. And he's going to be taken down at the 30-yard line. They get 21 on that one. First down, Vegas. In motion is Myers. On first and ten, it's Minchu. And this ball's gonna be incomplete. Minshew to the air on second down. Taking off. Can't beat those legs. 13-yard pickup. A scramble leads to a first down. So there's a fine line, Mike, between giving your wide receivers every chance they can to get open downfield, but at the same time, you can't stress your protection. I think he does a nice job in this case understanding that balance. He escapes the pocket, turns into a runner, and he's able to pick up the first down. He'll be stacked up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Just watch the speed of the pursuit out of this safety on this tackle, Mike. His ability to play from depth and attack the line of scrimmage and meet that ball carrier in the hole and keep him to no gain, you don't see a lot of safeties able to make that tackle in the open field. That's pretty impressive. So no shortage of offense in this one as we end the third. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. They'll run. And not much there. He's back to the original line. No gain on that one. Heck of an effort by this runner, Mike, just to get back to the line of scrimmage. I think most backs around the league, that play would have resulted in a loss, but not this guy. Continued to fight, continued to do everything he could to prevent the loss, but it still stopped for no gain. They'll stick to the ground. Looking for room out on the edge. You're not going to find any. As a matter of fact, I think they tracked him down behind the line of scrimmage. Good job by the defense, and it's fourth down. Mike, typically speaking, the job of the defensive end on outside run plays is to set the edge of the defense, make everything, try to cut back in. But in this case, he does a great job of actually stringing this play out sideways. He's able to bring the ball carrier down for a loss. And this one right down the middle. It's good. And they inch a bit closer here in this fourth quarter. So it is back to a one-point game now in the fourth quarter as they kick it away. This will be returned from the six. And a solid run back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. The visitors' offense ready to get back at it. Their lead is just a point as they begin it on this drive with first and ten. Keep it on the ground. And the defense all over this one. They knock him down. It'll go down as a loss of two.
here's a second and 12. On the ground, it's Chubb. You know, there's all this talk, Mike, about the value of the run game in today's NFL. You know when the run game matters? It matters right now. Fourth quarter, you've got the lead. Can you lean on your running back and offensive line to close this game out? Now a third and two. We'll try and run for the first down. It's four. going in motion. They fake the jet sweep and will hand it up the middle. And a strong first down run, a pickup of nine, setting up second and short. Gonna give it to Chubb. And he'll get the first down there, a pickup of about five yards. Play action. Watson. Taken in by Chuck. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. What an advantage it brings a defense when you have cornerbacks that are such willing tacklers. It just brings an extra element to the ability to defend the entire field. And this is a great example here why. On second down, here's Watson. To his tight end, Najoku. And he'll move this ball way down into the red zone, inside the 20-yard line. They get 20 on the connection. It's a Browns first down. Anybody who thought this coach was going to get conservative with this late lead is sadly mistaken, Mike. They're out here still throwing haymakers with this passing game. They're not content with just having the lead. They're looking to increase it. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and ten. Here's a handoff to Chubb. Not much happening there. Tackle at the 17. Zone read, they hand it to Chubb. And he'll get back maybe to the line of scourge, but probably going to be a loss of a yard here. Defenses always have to make a decision, Mike. How do they want to defend the zone read? Some teams want the quarterback to keep the ball. They want the ability to tackle the quarterback. Other teams, they want it to be a give read, and that's what we saw here. They were ready for it, and they take the running back down for a loss. On third down, they go with Chubb. comes Dustin Hopkins in a pressure situation. This to stretch the lead to more than a field goal. And this one right down the middle. It's good. So it is still a one-score game, but a little more breathing room now.
Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. On the return, here comes Tucker. And they'll bring him down just shy of the 30-yard line. And his five on the ground continues. The last run going to put him up over 100 yards for this one. Throwing on second down is Minshew. That one caught by Tucker. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. Now Minshew. predetermined that third down throw and even though the coverage was tight he still tried to fit the ball in there anyway and it ended up falling incomplete I think if he goes through his progressions and has a little bit more trust in his protection I think there's an easier throw to make out there he'll take this in back at the 16 and that's a nice job of making things more manageable for this offense as he takes it back beyond the 25-yard line. The visitors' offense ready to get back to work. They'll do so with first and 10. the gun, Watson. That's caught. It's Amari. And he'll be brought down, but not before they get this all the way up near midfield. That's a gain of 21 to open this drop. Come up here, first and ten. From the pistol, a give to Chuck. A gain of four as he's taken down. here looks like one of the defenders got a head start now Chuck scrimmage and now we're looking at third down now the offensive coordinator's got a decision on his hand mike it was second and one he decides to go with a conservative run gets stopped for no gain he's in the exact same position now on third down does he try to change it up or does he just turn around and hand it off again oh there's movement up front that's gonna make this third down a lot tougher
throwing on third down. Watson. To the sideline. That's caught by Judy. Hunting time for the Browns. They're set to kick it away. As they'll say no to the long field goal and hope to pin them deep. And the kickoff doesn't even get to midfield. That is a huge mistake and gives the opponents great field position. down well that run came at the perfect time Mike anytime you find yourself backed up near your own goal line the goal is to just start with one first down they were able to get it here now you give a little breathing room a little room to operate fresh set of downs to keep this drive alive this one is complete along the sideline a very nice job to fit that ball in it'll be a modest game he's over 100 receiving yards on the afternoon now and a first down to boot. Working out of the gun, it's Minshew. He'll find his running back, White. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. So two minutes left to play in the second half. We'll come back and finish this one off after this. Second and six coming up. They'll drop to throw. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. He can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. So now after that last incompletion, this brings up a critical third down. But remember, Mike, they don't have to get it all here in one play. They've got third and fourth down. There's no punt. There's no kick. They've got to treat this like it's their final possession of the game. And they've got two downs to extend this drive. That one, good for 13. Good for a Raider first down. To the air once more is Minshew. Over the middle, that's the tight end, Bowers. And they get this one across midfield to the 47-yard line. Plenty of time, plus two timeouts at their disposal. It's first and ten. Abdullah. And that'll be good for about a half dozen. It'll set up second down. So after the penalty, a break as they now have first and five. The shotgun, a throw for Minshew. Looking middle, and he's got Myers. 
And will move this ball way down into the red zone, inside the 20-yard line. That's the second time they found him on this drive, and this one's good for 24 yards. Here's first down. Oh, maybe a free play as he'll look to throw it. He gets this one to Tucker. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. So, a lot of options on the table now. It's first and five. Here's White. And he'll get forward for a couple. It's second down. From the gun, here's Minshew. He pulls it in around the five. And this drive's going to continue. He's taken down, but they are set up with first and goal. Here's Minshew. And this is a touchdown! They were not going to be denied, and they have taken the lead here in the final minute of play. Now this, an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. The extra point is good. Still a little surprising that they did not go for two. We're worried about the possibility of the ball going back the other way for a couple of points. In any case, the lead right now is two. So the kickoff team out there one final time in the final minute as they kick it away. This one taken at the seven. Nice job on the return. He's down close to the 35-yard line. The visitors' offense getting things in order as they trot out for this next possession. They'll start out first down and ten. The Browns going to use the first of their timeouts here, and they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining on the clock. It is second and a yard. the shotgun here's Watson to the sideline looked in by Cooper he's over 100 receiving yards on the afternoon now and a first down to boot throwing with anticipation it not only requires the confidence in both your accuracy and the timing but it also forces the receiver to be on time and where the quarterback expects you to be and this is one of those examples now when those two things are on point it results in a first down this is a touchdown! They were not going to be 
denied, and they have taken the lead here in the final minute of play. That is yet another touchdown pass. What a game he is having, throwing his fourth touchdown score of the game. It's one thing, Mike, to throw four touchdowns, but it's really the ease in which he's carved this defense up that has stood out the most. The defense has had no answers for this passing game, and he has just completely had his way with this group. Hopkins now to tack on the extra point. The kick is good. And the Browns have taken a four-point advantage. So the kickoff team out there one final time in the final minute as they kick it away. A couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he'll be brought down right around the 25-yard line. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. Minshew. To the left side, and Adams has it. And a big strike for good yardage there, all the way up to midfield. Here's Minshew now on first and ten. That is incomplete, so the task gets more difficult. Time for maybe two plays. That's it. Initially, a nice job by the receiver. He actually was open downfield. He was able to get behind the defense, but the window closed up so quickly they couldn't get the ball to him. Prevents the big play. Minshew to the air on second down. He'll take a shot here, back of the end zone. And that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Denzel Ward. Here we go. One final play. This one, a win for the Raiders. This was a game where both offenses were up and down the field, marching the ball at will, matching each other point for point. But in the end, got a few more defensive stops than their opponents did. And that was the difference in this one. And that'll do it for my partner, Greg Olson. For our entire team, I'm Mike Tirico. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Black Hole celebrates. The Raiders, winners here. We'll see if there are other winners outside. So long from Vegas.